Hey, welcome back. Um, this video is a um, watercolor painting for my floral sketchbook. I am currently um, in the process of working on other projects, uh, moving. Um, I have a lot of gallery work that I'm also working on and also trying to adhere to some sort of summer schedule for myself and my children. So um, right now at the moment, it'll be a lot of floral sketchbook paintings that I'm working on. So um, the next few videos will be florals. Um, <clears throat> in this video, um, I apologize about the way my nails look. I normally just do my nails myself, but because I've been really busy, they look kind of weird. So, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then also something else I wanted to say is, um, if you notice any transition in the lighting of this video, um, I did have my blackout curtains down um, for the video, um, trying to get everything kind of like packed up together uh, because we are moving. So at one point in the video, everything was nice and light. And then I had stopped the video a few times so that I can get up and take care of a few things around the house. And when I did that, I came back and I turned on my desk lamps and that really messed up some of the lighting. So um, there are some transitions in the video where the lighting is all over the place. It goes from really light and bright to a little bit yellow, um, <clears throat> a little bit different. So um, I do apologize for that. Uh, normally I try to make sure everything is fairly consistent. Uh, in my videos. Um, I've been kind of in a rush um, a lot lately, so I'm just trying to get make sure that I have everything together, um, everything kind of uniform, if you will. Um, in this video, I am using some Artist Loft pan watercolors. Um, it comes in a big set of 24, I believe, and it's about $5 at Michael's. Um, I know that you could also order this watercolor set off of like the Wish app, AliExpress. Uh, you could find it at other places for probably about the same price. Um, I will have that listed in the description box below. And then I am also using my Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. And um, these are actually really good watercolor pencils because they're very bright, vibrant. Um, you can buy them open stock. So uh, I'm not sure if you could buy them in a set. I'm pretty sure you could, but I mean, I bought all of mine open stock and that way the colors that I really, really love, I could always buy more of. And um, they didn't come out to too much money. They were fairly cheap for what I got. I've, I got one in almost every color because I like to collect things and art supplies is probably one of my biggest collection type of things. Um, I like to have everything in the collection. So, um, they work really well. I'll have that in the description box below as well. And then as far as the paintbrushes, um, I really am not sure where I got my paintbrushes because I typically buy whatever is on sale. Um, <clears throat> and then I am also gifted 
uh, a lot of different paint brushes in sets as individuals like open stock type of deal um, but when I do actually buy them for myself I will go to either Blick Art Supplies or to Michaels or even to Dollar Tree so you know I'm not using the most expensive materials I use whatever feels good so if it feels good in your hand um, if it feels good while you're using it that's typically what I go for um, I know that there are certain brushes that you could use for acrylics some for watercolor some for oils uh, I typically just use whatever feels best while I'm painting um, so that's all about preference so I'm not really going to list the paint brushes that I'm using um, but with this painting I'm painting some poppy flowers they're in a cute little bundle they've got some of the leaves um, sprouting out around them and with this painting it was really fun to paint um, and with this painting you know whenever I get started on a painting I will sketch out what I'm going to paint and then I go in afterwards and I lightly erase the lines so that the uh, lead from the pencils aren't shining through the paint um, and that's typically a pretty good technique I see a lot of people doing that um, but when I did it I accidentally erased a lot of my lines so I couldn't really figure out some of the spaces it's like is this extra petals from the flowers another f flower behind the uh, the front flower or is it extra stems so <clears throat> my recommendation is if you are going to erase your lines don't do it so roughly don't take too much of your line work out just until you get used to you know doing that me method where you're erasing stuff because if you have something vital in there and you erase it and then you forget where things go it can get a little tricky when you're painting everything in so um, another technique that you're gonna see in the video is that when I am painting the background I am also sprinkling salt on the paper and the reason for that is it gives the background kind of like a speckled effect um, and it's a really cool effect to work with uh, it the salt just kind of draws out some of the water and it does it in little clumps and you'll get really cool speckling so I just wanted to do something a little different with this art piece in this book um, so <clears throat> excuse me so yeah I, uh, I I poured a little bit of salt onto the background and then afterwards when everything got closer to being done I went ahead and I added some white gel pen um, to the stems to the leaves to the flowers just to give it that little extra pop make it look shiny in certain areas and the white gel pen that I use is going to be listed in the description box below along with everything else and um, I'm gonna go ahead leave this here and you guys enjoy the video and if you have any uh, comments leave them in the comment section you're free to contact me on social media don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be updated when all the new videos come out typically all the videos are out on Mondays but this week has been really hectic and so I am a little late in posting I do apologize I will try to keep everything on schedule so enjoy the video Bye. Mm -hmm. 